Um, what do you think, if someone's getting started with data analysis, do you think that they should dive more into statistics first or dive more into the programming aspects like understanding how Pandas works? Uh, I think that depends on, you know, first of all, a person's learning style. Um, maybe where they're more interested. You might be more interested on the coding side and more interested on the statistics side. Um, you don't want to get discouraged. So maybe if you're really interested in statistics and the coding scares you a little bit, maybe do some of the statistics, get really invested and interested. And then you can take a step back and say, okay, how do these statistics map to different uh, methods in pandas? And then maybe the reverse too. If statistics is a bit overwhelming and you want to approach it from the code side, um, I think it's just important kind of just to do what works for you and stay yeah. positive about it. Yeah, and I think it's great to, to do them together. For me personally, I love learning the stuff hands-on, as I can imagine somebody who wrote a book called Hands-On Data yeah. Analysis <laughs> would agree. And so, yeah, for example, I created um, a statistics for machine learning course, and I am publishing that. I published the first few lectures on YouTube like a year ago, and then I've been completely overwhelmed with work. And we'll get back to that, I promise, those of you who are following on YouTube or in my Udemy course. Uh, but people can get it from O'Reilly. It's like an eight-hour course. And it's and everything is done in Jupyter Notebooks, in, in large part with Pandas, because it's such an easy way to just play around with things and say, mm -hmm. oh, like, what if I change this parameter? Or what if I change this data set? And it just makes it so easy and fun. I think one thing you have to be a little careful about from the Pandas side just came to mind is just how different libraries in the ecosystem treat like standard deviation, mm -hmm. whether it's sample population. And right. it's not always obvious what's there. So yes. read, read the docs before you uh, dive in and get confused about why math answers don't match.